Well, tubes, uh, good morning to you. How's it going? Pretty good here, I reckon. That's the uh, telemotor. I finally got all the um, all the uh, throttle fixed on it. It's, uh, it's, I'm going to redo the uh, fuel line here because it's scraping right there. I think I just have to um, flare this out in just a little bit and it'll be just as good. And um, this is the old clutch for that one. Hope they can see everything. But it, uh, it's too small as you can tell out there, and that, no, not gonna fit. So, I gotta go get the clutch, and then, um, we just gotta mount it, and, and then out here is the bike that's gonna be, let's see, is the light gonna work? I don't think it's light gonna work. Hold on, let's see if it's light work. Come on. There we go. And uh, next, got to mount it on that. And you probably wonder what I'm, I'm going to do with the other gas tank, which is which is this little number. It's not very, it's not much. But when you're out and about and you're running low on fuel, you got this to go to. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to try to mount it right here. There's no promising, but I'm going to try to. I'm gonna, if I have to move the seat back, I will. Or I may just mount it right here. Well, it's going it's going somewhere, or I might put it back here on the fender. I don't know yet. But, um, I'm thinking what I might do, uh, while I'm still waiting on parts for that motor right there, just the clutch is all I'm waiting on that, is I might go ahead and tear this paint off here and uh, paint it what kind of paint I'm going to use funny you may ask well I had an old Ford an old 79 Ford F100 Ranger and I put a brand new motor in it and we had paint left over so there it goes that's the uh, engine color and that was the uh primary I guess is what it is. I don't know what it is. But uh I thought I had two of these, but apparently not. So with that being said, I guess I just have to use one on one and all that good stuff. But I don't wanna sit here and do it by hand. Like take the sandpaper and uh I don't want to sit here by, I don't even think you've seen that, oh well. I don't want to sit here and do it by hand with the sandpaper and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So we might um, just uh, take the grinder to it and get a, uh, I mean you don't have, you don't have to like take it, take it all off, just uh, like tear it up just a little bit so the paint will stick to it. So what I might do is just, uh, I don't know, may just uh, take the brush to it, you know, the grinder brush, and just scratch it up pretty good. And next thing I gotta do is measure the uh, plate, the motor on that, and uh, go ahead and trace that. Cause it, let's see. Take measure. Let's see. Uh, Got a pin in here somewhere. Well, I thought I did anyway. Apparently not. It might be outside somewhere. Who knows? Who knows around the shop? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I think to you too. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I know you can't, you won't be able to see this. 
Let's see right there is three almost three and a half from each other. I don't know, we might can do it without making holes. It'd be freaking awesome. Let's see what it is now. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm still going to make holes. Because that there's... That there's three and a half right there. So, it's just a little bit out of there. Is all we got to do. And then, how big is the plate? About... About seven and a half long. So, whoops. Two and a half long will be that. Barely going to make it. Barely going to make it. Because seven and a half is right there on that plate. Oh, I mean that curve right there. It's barely going to make it, boys. Let's see. It's half on part. Because I'm going to try to use. I'm going to try to use the other part. Just make another hole. So that right there he is. Uh, three and uh, three fourths. Let's just say three fourths from the outer edge. Um, well, well, that that's what I meant to do. Yeah, it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be much much bigger than what it's already on there. So that'd be good. And see here. Yeah, I believe that'd be good for that. Oh, burp. So it's seven. Yeah, it ain't gonna be long for that. And then, you know, of course, they'll put everything back together on it. But I guess we could go ahead and put the put the um, exhaust bank on it now since we already got the uh, uh, throttle, throttle fix. One thing I do is just run the cable out here and put it to this and hook it to that. That's all we got to do. That won't be a biggie. And put this bad boy back on it. I got a problem here. And maybe you have a problem. I don't know yet. Let's see. It's going to be on. It's going to have it on, its own support right there because uh, that's where my throttle goes through. <laughs> oh, heaven help us. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and put the exhaust back in it anyway. And if you want, if any of y'all wonder what kind of motor this is, it's off of a tiller. I gotta turn this fan on because it's getting a little warm in here. But anyway, uh, I think I put it on the high setting. Whoops. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a it's a tiller motor, and this is the old motor from that. I'm sorry if you get wind. I just gotta get these. Get that little wheel thing off of here for a few minutes, at least. And then... Got so much stuff on here, I can't figure out nothing. <laughs> and, no, that's not, I don't need that right there. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. There's a little bit, a little bit on the hit set around here. Shop for now. Until we get everything squared away. I don't know what I did with the last socket I had to take this off with, so and I gotta hunt for the damn thing. <laughs> there we go. And extension. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and hit my knuckles. 
Whoop, oh wait, okay. So yeah, um, looks like everything's gonna work. It's just gonna have to take a few, few days to get the rest of the parts in. There we go. And after that, after that's done, we'll uh, have a have to uh, go out there and put it back on the body with the mic. Okay. I don't think it's going nowhere. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out something to hold it level. And they gotta keep all these together because this is the one that broke down that. I think anyway. Nope, no well. <laughs> That's the. This is the breather. The breather for this one. And uh. This is the pulley that was on it. Boy, that some bitch was heavy to get off. Or hard to get off, I should say. And, uh, I mean, I don't want that thing flopping everywhere. Anyway, just kidding. Well, anyway, uh, yep, looks like everything's finally coming together on this bike build that that bolt really don't go in there but I'm doing it just to hold it down cause it's really 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 floppy and uh okay anyway and you probably wonder where that is it's right here I just hadn't put it back on yet Well, it wasn't that one time. But it's around here somewhere. You're probably thinking, good lord of mercy, can you keep your shit together? Uh, yeah, but when you got different bikes to put... Oh, here it is. Uh. Because it's, it's basically done anyway, so might as well just go ahead and crank it up. Let you hear some horses ring. I mean, sing. Let's see. It's, uh, I think the fuel's on. I can't tell. Oh, that's the one open. I don't know which one it is because you can't tell. That's going to be the only issue right now. Let's see if I can get cranked up again. Yeah, I don't think it's going to crank up again. Yeah, it's off. <laughs> The only issue, right? but it is a little, it is a little bit warm. We'll just put it right there. Then the next thing is, you gotta get the clutch sides for this, so then we can have that going. The only thing wrong with it, this one is uh, gotta put a torque converter on it, and uh, should be ready to rock. So anyway, tubes, hope you enjoyed it so far.